Yo guys, welcome back to the vlog. Um, so I have returned from a holiday and um, we are back um, on the vlogs again. So before I do continue, I actually want to do just address something or maybe just mention something. It is something that I was thinking about and it is something I wanted to do. So in South Africa or in Cape Town, um, YouTube or YouTubers are not um, a massive thing. However, it is becoming um, So the reason for this video is basically um, just to assist everyone with their channel So what I've came up with is basically If you guys would like um, I am willing to actually uh, mention a few guys on my channel Just to boost um, their channel as well So the way that we are going to do that is basically if you can maybe just uh, send me a screenshot that you are subscribed to my channel and then maybe just send me a link to your channel as well um i am not going to do everyone's channel i am going to select a few um guys or girls um um youtube channels and then i'll just basically expose them on my channel i will maybe do it in the beginning or at the end of one of my videos it will probably one or two um, every vlog um, there's no specific reason or no specific person I'm going to choose it's just going to be out of random uh, that way I can assist you guys um, maybe to grow your, cha your guys channel as well and then we, can, we basically can all grow together so yeah that's the idea if you guys do or are interested in that you guys can dm me on instagram um it is wong underscore street track so then you guys can basically like i mentioned you can screenshot that you are subscribed to my channel and then maybe just send me a link to your channel um i will most likely subscribe to your channel as well and then i'll expose your channel um on my channel so um like I've mentioned a few minutes ago, a lot of guys have created their channel, but then they stopped. Um, the reason for me actually creating my channel um, is mainly because um, my build or the EG um, is basically a lifetime build. So it's basically, <laughs> I keep on saying basically. So it's never going to stop. If it's a lifetime build, it's never ever going to stop. I'm going to build the score till the end. So um, I'm, I hope you guys are willing to go with me on this journey and build the score. Um, there is obviously going to be other cars um, on the channel as well. But this car, I have the main reason for me buying the car was for me to actually build the score. That's also the reason the name is Street Track. It was a street car. The car was bought in stock um, condition and i'm basically transfer transforming it into a track car i haven't been on the track for a while um, i have been meaning to actually go back to the track this coming saturday is an event called bragging rights um, it's an event hosted by avengers there's going to be a lot of things like drag racing drifting etc show and shine so what we are basically going to do today is just prep the car and then maybe just add a few mods that I had laying around. So the car basically looks different for every event. There's every, what, what I would want is for every event, um, there's something different on the car. A little update on the rear um, quick latches on the bootlet. Um, Dane is kind of busy right now. He has a few jobs that he has to do. So that is kind of on standby with regarding spraying it. I have it is still covered up with a black little sticker over there. Uh, that is how we are going to go to the event. But yeah, um, I'm going to show you guys uh, the part that I had and then I'll just show you um, how we are going to install it. So let's get started. So guys, so this is uh, the new ad that will be fitting. This is kind of a lever uh, type of handle that's usually used to open a boot or um, a bonnet. As you guys can see here um, so the reason for me actually buying this is I don't know if you guys uh, saw in the previous vlog when I fitted this over here so this is obviously a kill switch and as you guys can see the stick over there 
This is also an emergency fire extinguisher. So the whole idea with this is that we are going to use the same uh, concept as uh, obviously lifting up um, the bonnet. We're going to use this for the fire extinguisher. It will basically be over here. And then I'll just put the stick over here. Uh, the reason for me actually putting it over here is so that this thing can actually be removed. And there is also um, a grommet that I can remove which will then run this cable into the cockpit. And then let me just show you guys what I'm referring to um, when I say that the fire extinguisher will squirt. So the whole concept will be um, the fire extinguisher obviously won't be here. This will go into here and then it will just be um, a little, how can I say, a little uh, iron piece over here which will obviously then lock this in together so then um, what will happen is when I pull this um, this whole thing will obviously go in and it then will basically pull the fire extinguisher open like that and it will obviously squirt onto the driver or onto uh, the engine like I mentioned I am planning on doing it in the engine as well as um, on the driver so the cabling will basically come from here um, however, uh, I do think that I might just do it for the driver for now. <laughs> Obviously, the driver is more important than the engine. Um, if you guys do or have in any more information with regarding this, please do contact me or maybe mention it in the comments. I am also looking for a bracket uh, that I can basically put down over here. This I also want to make black so that. Um, it kind of uh, matches uh, the wiper tray with this being red um, for it to be more noticeable. So yeah, I'm just going to pull the car out a little bit so we have more space and open the bonnet and then we can take it from there. Um, also, I actually have fiddled around with um, the wiper tray. Um, in a previous video also, I don't know if you noticed, these things do actually uh, break very easily. I attempted to remove this one, it actually doesn't come out, it just stays there and if you press it back in, it's a clip, so these are clips, I'm going to take my time with these because I do not want to break this or lose them, um, then obviously going to remove the wiper tray, um, the, when I lift the bonnet there's also no space over here, that has to be kind of over here, so it will most likely be over here, a little lever that you can basically pull out, I want it to be a little bit more here so that it's much more easier for anyone to pull who is going to be outside the car and then obviously um, in a previous video I showed you guys I want the um, McLaren um, fire extinguisher and um, a kill switch battery um, decals over here for now it's obviously only going to be uh, the emergency fire extinguisher because the fire extinguisher will be here and then as you guys do know um, in the rear is the kill switch for the battery which will obviously remove uh, or isolate uh, the battery in case of an accident on the track, etc. Um, I do have a few of these stickers as well. I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to use. Um, I am going to put on the start for my start button and then obviously add all these as well. But this is going to be um, the main sticker for the emergency fire extinguisher. Um, I'm just going to reverse the car so we have more space. guys so here's a better look at the tray like i mentioned i do kind of want it to be over here because if it's going to be over here it's going to be in the way of that i do maybe plan on removing um, the wipers because i don't actually drive the car in the rain i have did that with my previous cars but i think this is going to be the ideal spot kind of want it to be 
going through here. I think it's gonna maybe look even cooler. So it'll basically stick, like, stick out like that. And then this, this cabling will obviously run around the battery and then down into that little grommet over there where the speaker wire is. Um, I'm going to remove this tray. It's gonna take some time because I do not want to damage it. I want to keep it all intact. Um, I'm gonna put you guys on a time lapse. It's going to take some time before I actually remove these. Um, but yeah, once the tray is off, I think that will be most mainly um, the most difficult part uh, or the most cringy part to actually remove. And then we are basically going to spray this and like I mentioned, remove the whole uh, car sign over here. This will no longer be for uh, bonnet will now be for a fire extinguisher the guys um, at GNA actually recommended me using this because I asked them if they do not have it they said they could get it but it will be a lot more expensive he also mentioned that he has used this before so it is a cheaper route um, but it will serve the same purpose um, as you guys can see the mechanism is exactly the same so if you guys do want to do this I would recommend it it's going to be a cheaper route um, and yeah I am going to try to make it look like it should be an actual um, fire extinguisher um, emergency fire extinguisher um, a releaser I think that's what it's maybe called the full name but yeah <laughs> so I'm gonna put you guys up on a time lapse um, while I do that um, so yeah let's get started guys guys so I managed to get off um, the wiper tray uh, it was kind of difficult because this thing has obviously never been removed yet unfortunately I've broken two of these um, clips basically so the idea with this is you would have to get into this little gap over here and once it comes out you basically just turn it and it comes out and then this actually remains um, unfortunately seeing that I have broken these I am going to maybe go to my cousin Graham and ask him maybe if he has uh, two of these. Um, I think I might have broken another clip over here if I'm not mistaken. That if you guys saw in the previous video when we did the windscreen, um, that cover was basically just easily removed just so. But this obviously has never been removed in its lifetime. So I have put um, the wiper tray back. So I can just see this clearance over here. So I'm just going to basically see where I should be drilling and if there is enough space at the bottom here for me as well. So I'm gonna put you guys up in the tightness and do that quickly. this is kind of what it's going to look like like I mentioned I am going to spray this black maybe paint black um, as you guys can see fits correctly over here I'm just going to put it on the car and see what it looks like and if there is any clearance over there um, basically this wire can just basically come out underneath here I do not want to do any drilling further than um, this 
so yeah that's why you can maybe just um, come underneath here underneath the body and then run to the to uh, the inside of the body let me just show you guys what it looks like with these on the car Guys, so this is kind of an idea what it will look like. Obviously, this will be down over here. Not like I mentioned, I'm not going to drill a hole through here. Cable will basically just run this way through and then into that little grommet over there and into um, the cockpit. So, yeah, I'm gonna get some paint, spray this, spray that red, and then basically just run the cable into there. And then from there, I'm gonna do some research with regarding um, how we are going to set up. Um, the fire extinguisher and then obviously the clip over here if you guys do have any information with regarding that please let me know um, so I can obviously um, have it functional as well see I'm just going to do that quickly mm -hmm. 